Well, good morning. Welcome to another video. Today, it feels like a beautiful spring day here in Nebraska, and our outside has just woken up overnight. So we have our apple tree that has white blossoms all over it. It's so pretty to see in our backyard. And then we also have another tree that literally the green leaves just popped overnight. So it's so fun to see that. Um, this morning, I spent some time on the outdoor on our deck on the swing and read my bible and it was just so nice to hear the birds and just enjoy the warmer weather also around our deck some of our green plants have popped open and it's so fun to see that along with some of my hostas that i planted last year for um, my shade garden so i'm excited to see all of that just opening up but this morning we are going to meet a friend for a walk but before that we're going to get some homeschool done and then just some household chores so thanks for joining me and let's get going on today's video cleaned this sink so many times. If you regularly watch my videos, you've probably seen me scrub it a lot of times, but I have noticed that I've been getting some gunk and some hard water deposits around the faucet area. So I decided this time I was going to do an extra step of cleaning and just, I made some baking soda and water paste and I used a cleaning toothbrush that I have and I just tried to scrub around the faucet and it did help a little bit but I definitely am going to have to probably take this faucet off and just clean out and scrape underneath of this faucet and that will be on my list of projects to do this summer. We made it back from the park with our friends, which was really nice. It was super windy, but really nice just to get outside and get some sunshine in. Came home, ate some lunch, finished up some schoolwork, and now I wanna tackle my refrigerator. Let me show you what it looks like right now. So the outside, it kinda, it could use some help. There's just like little splotches here and there, and we put up this dry erase board, and so it's just made it really kinda yucky with some marker there. So I do need to wipe the outside of it, but, the inside, it's looking kind of bare. I have some leftovers and some drinks, but it's pretty bare because I need to go grocery shopping. Um, so I figured, you know what? I might as well clean it out because it definitely needs it. You can see that there's a lot of stuff in here. I noticed that the door is kind of dirty as well. So I'm gonna start cleaning this out so that I can fill it up with groceries this afternoon.
As I clean out my fridge, I'm reminded how thankful I am for you. I've gotten some feedback recently from multiple people that have said that you've enjoyed watching my videos because I seem real and I don't worry about having a perfect house. And honestly, that's a huge encouragement to me because sometimes it's hard for me to share my home here on YouTube. I do feel a bit like I don't belong on the internet because I don't have stainless steel appliances or a perfectly decorated home, but I still love my home and I'm so thankful for the opportunity to care for my home. And I know I'm not the only homemaker who feels this way. And I hope that I can encourage you to be thankful for the home that God has given you as well. I hope you walk away from my videos just ready to go and serve your family and be diligent at home. So my fridge, it's almost 30 years old, but it works. It holds the food that feeds my family and I'm so grateful for it. I'm grateful for it, even though it's not aesthetically pleasing. And, you know, it just reminds me that God always provides for what I need. And also it reminds me of the quote that says, when you are thankful for what you have, it is enough. got it all wiped down and it is fresh and clean ready for some new groceries okay so we're about to run some errands for supper we're gonna do something really easy I'm just gonna get a rotisserie chicken from um, Costco we're gonna run to Costco I need to stock up on some meat and so we're also gonna stop by the library we have some books that are due and drop those off um, so I got out some rolls for dinner. They are the Rhodes rolls that you just let sit on the counter for a few hours and then can bake them. And so that's gonna be easy for dinner. And anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and get going. back from Costco. So this is for dinner tonight, just a rotisserie chicken. I think I'm going to put it in my crock pot and put it on warm. So that's ready to go for tonight. Stocked up on some blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries. If we don't use them this week, I will probably just freeze them. I grabbed some of these mini cucumbers. These are just easier to eat and they taste really good. Um, this is six pounds of carrots. I've never gotten that many carrots to, before, but they last a good while. Plus, I think, oh, I'm going to make a couple of um, bars. They're carrot oatmeal bars. We really like those, and so that'll use up some of them. 
And um, so anyways, I'm gonna do that. And then I may end up freezing some, like cutting them up and freezing them just to be able to cook them. And then I got some of these. The kids were asking about popsicles, so I grabbed these. They, the first ingredient is fruit, the second ingredient is water, and then the third is cane sugar. So there's definitely sugar in here, but I'm guessing that it's not as much as a regular popsicle since it's the third ingredient. Um, grab some milk, 18 eggs, some pork chops, and some butter. The only thing I did not get there that I was hoping to get was roast because that is on the plan for this week for our meal plan. I will probably go to Hy-Vee and get some later this week or I may just change up my meal plan. But speaking of the meal plan, let me go ahead and tell you what we're having this week. Okay, I've got my planner. This is where I keep my meal plan at. And um, we're having biscuits and gravy, rotisserie chicken, pork chops, burgers, roast and tacos that is on the plan for this week so i just remembered okay i've got to go get um hamburger buns for burgers but other than that i think we have everything else that we need we will see as the week goes along um but yeah that's it for today i made my husband some sweet tea he grew up in the south and he loves drinking it i drink what we call northern tea because it's just plain tea no sugar in it but um, to make his southern tea, sweet tea, I just do two cups of sugar mixed with water and then I boil some water and add seven tea bags and let it steep for 13 minutes and then just fill it to the sugar and water syrup and fill it up with water and then I always let it sit out on the counter to kind of come to room temperature so that it doesn't spoil as quickly in the fridge and that works every single time so he loves it he says it tastes really good and it saves us money mm -hmm. 